Wow. So for about three or four days, the wind has been gusting over 20 miles an hour. This water looks absolutely terrible. I mean, like six inches of visibility. <laughs> I was hoping for better conditions. It's first thing in the morning, guys. And uh, I got a bucket full of shrimp. We got about six dozen shrimp in here. And I was hoping I'd be able to jig for some pompano. That's out of the picture this morning. So, you know, this is the time of year when the sheep's head get really thick in here throughout the entire month of March. So we're just gonna drop some shrimp, see if we can find some hungry sheep's head down there. What I'm definitely gonna do today is I'll end up breaking the shrimp off so that there's some scent in the water. Um, very low visibility down here. But, you know, sheep's head got to eat, right? So we have a very long, slow tide today. It's like one of those 16-hour incoming tide days. So that, that'll be a plus for sheep's head fishing. They like it when the current's moving slower. So let's give it a shot, man. I don't know that I've ever fished in water that's this nasty, ugly. We had rain yesterday. We had rain this morning. Pretty nasty out here. <laughs> We're moving on out of there, guys. That water was terrible at the jetties. People catching catfish. I mean, catfish after catfish. No, thank you. I will definitely pass on that. So we're going to go do some exploring. I was supposed to meet up with Willie today, do a little collaboration this afternoon at the jetties, but that's not going to happen. There's no way that water is going to clear up. It's slow incoming tide, and uh, yeah, it's really windy. So we are going to head down to a new spot, see if we can't get on something. Let's go investigate. Oh, 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 look at this, baby. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We got mangrove snapper in here. One, two. We got rocks over here. This water's flowing through here good, man. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go take a look at the other side. Look at that. Beautiful down there. Yeah, I think somebody commented and said I should come over here and drop my kayak in here. Fish back in here. I forget what all they said. But look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, there's a big school of something back there. Definitely mullet. And probably some good snook in here with all those mullet, too. go there we go fish on fish on we got the snapper i knew i saw some snappers down there nice first cast not quite big enough to be a keeper though thanks for the catch little guy see ya well now that's a good way to start see if we can get another one i was gonna take the weight off and just free line but this current is really ripping through here Fishing with a shrimp hooked on that way. Oh, I think I see another one down there. I think I see another one down there. I see a couple of them down there, man. I definitely see more down there. Yep, there's a hit right there. He's got it. Oh, dude, we got hungry snappers. We got hungry fish down here. Wow, that was fast. Soon, as soon as it hit the bottom, that dude grabbed it. Watch this. 
I'm already getting hit. It's coming to me. Oh, smallest snapper on planet Earth. Little six incher. Not even six. See ya. I'm gonna start breaking my shrimp in half because these fish are hitting. As soon as it hits the bottom, they're grabbing it. I just saw the little guys go swarming around it down there. Oh my goodness, there's like a whole school of snappers. Bunch of them. Oh, dude. You just stand here and catch snappers all freaking day. No problem with that. See ya. Got another one. <laughs> well, we know we can catch snappers here, one right after the other. Let's try a different spot. You know what? The tug is the drug. It's just fun, guys. All right, thanks, buddy. See ya. Let's get them. All right, guys, we're gonna move to a different spot. I have no idea what spot that's gonna be. We're gonna do some exploring. All right, I just talked to Willie. He said I could come his way if I don't find anything over here. It's not looking very promising, guys. But we're gonna explore a little more while we're here. Check this, this is a kayak. A kayak launch. <laughs> Wouldn't this be fun to drag the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot down? Not. Not at all. It would not be fun. But let's take a look down here. We got some fiddler crab holes man looks like gator gator city backwaters backwaters wonder if there's a trail that goes around here around the edge let's go investigate well, there's a little trail here but looks like it runs into a dead end yeah it's a dead end trail to nowhere Apparently I wasn't the only person that wanted to investigate, but there's nothing to investigate there. All right, I, I think our fishing time is done here. Definitely, we done. It's an adventurous kind of a video, what can I say? I'm waiting for Willie to get off work. Got me a Diet Coke. Just hanging out here at a public park. Let's go check out the bird sanctuary. Don't we get to see these guys at the jetties, the fish pros? Yep, hear them all the time. It says they actually like to eat crustaceans. Interesting. See them all caged up. Oh boy. Black vulture. Turkey vulture. Brown pelican. They only weigh 8 pounds. Wingspan of 82 inches. That is amazing. Here comes the strange looking crane. Hey buddy, what's up? Willie, what's up? Uh, I'm playing tourist. I'm hanging out at the Ponce de Leon Park looking at the birds. Guys, it's almost 3 o'clock. I started at sunrise just waiting for Willie. I had to travel a pretty good ways to get down in, here in his area. And uh, he had to work today. So I was just sitting there at the picnic table watching Instagram short videos. I am just so addicted to those things. And the wisdom you can get from watching those is just incredible. But anyway, I'm following the man here. We're going to go see if we can get on some fish. Alright guys, I told you I was meeting up with Willie. Uh, don't wait a minute. Don't tell me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell me. <laughs> For real fishing 941, I got it. Got it. I'll put a link in the description area. And make sure you guys subscribe. Gotta get him to a thousand subscribers so he can start making some money on his channel, man. Almost there. Yeah, he's so on, close. He's working hard. So, so close. Anyway, we're gonna get on some fish today, so let's do it. Let's do it. Willie's getting ready to show us how to throw a how big is that net? A ten footer. A ten footer. He's got a cast net video that he's working on. He's got it just get it edited and stuff so make sure you subscribe you want to see how you can throw a 10 foot net oh look at that pancake time serve me some pancakes it might be freaking out christmas time Jay. boy that's a nice net man still got the tag on it my buddy gave it to no, me just kidding. it was too big for him to throw so he's like dude you find another one give it to me but if not 
Yeah. I think, yeah, I think you did all right, man. Thought they were greenbacks. I thought so too, because they did look kind of big in the water. Dude, look at the size of those glass motors, like three inches. <laughs> dude, wow. There's some big ones, dude. They get them big down here in the south. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. I'd get the bigger ones in. I had friends like yours. Dude, dude somebody, somebody gave him that 10 foot quarter inch net. Thing is nice. And his, his buddy sells him a boat for 2500 Is that right? $2,000. For $2,000. <laughs> Got like a 70 horse Yamaha on it or something. What is it, 90 horse? 90 horse Yamaha. 90 horse Yamaha freaking <laughs> killer boat. $2,000. Trailer two. <laughs> Some guys have all the luck, man. All right, Willie just saw a big snapper come up on those minnows. So I'm in free lining. I'm going to put on a little split shot, get that minnow down on the bottom, make him look like he's injured. See if we can't get one of those snappers down there. Come on, snapper, snapper. Oh, oh, baby, here we go. That's another keeper. That's another keeper, maybe. I don't know, man. He's not going to make it. All right, see you, little guy. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's a snapper kind of day. I am whacking the big ones today. See ya. This video is not over, guys, but got to say goodbye to Willie. Thanks, man, for awesome. having I came down to his neck of the woods because it's crazy over there at the jetties. But anyway, we got on some fish. I'm going to make something happen. He's going to have a good video, guys. He, he caught some, well, he caught one. Yeah, I got nice snub. You know what? I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go check out his channel, so make sure you subscribe. But yeah, we're going to head to the house now. So thanks, Willie, again. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. Always All a right. pleasure. All right, let's get this little guy cleaned up here. I'm using my Optum Blade knife. Guys, I absolutely love this new knife. I'll put a link in the description area. Get this little fella filleted up. We're going to do some mangrove snapper tacos i have got an awesome recipe for fish tacos you guys and uh one that i haven't used on this channel yet it's really simple you guys are gonna like it had a great time out there fishing with willie always good to create a fishing adventure with another youtuber i have to tell you though it was extremely challenging out there only catching little mangrove snapper all day But at least we got something to eat, right? Be enough for a taco. <laughs> thank goodness. Thank, thank goodness for me. I've got some I got some pompano in the freezer. Not only do I have pompano, but I also have uh, what else do I have? Yeah, this is gonna be one. This is gonna be like two two tacos, I think. I have uh, I have some chicken. I got some chicken. But this is a fishing channel, so we can't exactly make chicken tacos today. Actually, I could. The chicken's already made. But let's just let's just stick with the fishing, right? Make these boneless. I absolutely love mangrove snapper. This stuff is good, baby. My favorite way to cook it. Favorite way to cook mangrove snappers is it's fried. I don't know. It looks like enough for one taco, doesn't it? Pre-made, pre-mixed coleslaw. All we have to do is add some dressing. Put a little bit of that in there. Actually, I'm going to put a lot because I'm going to go ahead and make some chicken tacos after I do this little catch and cook here. And we got some coleslaw dressing. Put a generous amount in there. Oh, a little bit too much maybe. Mix all that together. So, And we got two more ingredients that are going to make this delicious. All right, we got our fish here. We're going to use a little bit of Tony's Original Creole Seasoning. This stuff is very salty, but it's nice and spicy. So you just give it a little bit. You don't have to put much on there. 
other ingredients is Cavender's Greek seasoning. This stuff is the bomb diggity. I'm telling you, it's good on chicken, it's good on fish, it's good on shrimp, it's good on all kinds of stuff. You gotta try it. Cavender's Greek seasoning. Okay, my oil is starting to smoke just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys a drop. Extra thin fillets, doesn't take long to get them Give them that nice brown crispy look on one side. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's looking good there. That's yeah, looking really good. Flip this guy over. We can. Come on. I might need two hands, guys. Let's see. Hey, I did it. Oh, look at that. That's looking really nice. Got a little all up in there. These are really thin fillets. I'm going to go ahead and pull them off. They didn't cook long at all. Oh, that's looking really good. The key to cooking with olive oil is you got to have it good and hot for fish. If you don't, it just soaks up in the fish and they get all mushy and yucky. White corn tortillas. This usually takes about eh, five to six minutes depending on how hot the pan is. So I'm going to say these have probably been on there a couple of minutes and you can see they're starting to get a little bit of golden brown on there. We don't want to burn them black. I mean, if you do burn them black, that's okay. We just want them to be golden brown on each side, not super crispy, but we don't want them so length that they're falling apart. I hate that. That's looking good. That's about the color that I want right there. That one also. Looking really good. It's got just a little bit of a, a, a slight crispy dry on the outside. That's what we're going for. All right, guys, so the other side didn't turn out quite so golden brown as the first side. But the idea is they're just dry, just a little bit crispy on the outside. It's looking good. So let's make some tacos. You notice I'm using the small tortillas because, uh, yeah, I've started using them. They're easier to handle. And they stay together better because you can just hold them in your entire hand, right? So let's get some of our delicious fish. I'm going to put three pieces in each one. We got our coleslaw, a little coleslaw in there. Our next delicious ingredient is going to be sriracha racha. A little sriracha and guys if I had a lime I'd be using a lime but I don't so I'm gonna use a lemon it's gonna be absolutely delicious so all right guys this is looking good our next ingredient some feta cheese crumbles top that off with some feta cheese oh my goodness I love cheese and you know what I'm gonna add a little bit of more sriracha because I like some heat and why don't we just stick just a tad more coleslaw in there so we get a big old nice fat taco. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, baby, it's going to be delicious. Let's see. Oh my gosh. That gets two thumbs up.